Hi, I'm Steph. I'm the teacher of A-level photography here at Clarendon. So your first unit here as an A-level photography student, you will be looking at photographic processes. Photographic processes can start in the darkroom where we'll teach you the traditional aspects of the subject and get a real understanding of the technical side. Then we'll move you on to using a DSLR camera. So as an A-level photography student, you will not just be limited to photography as a subject, which is really important as a photographer because it's good to have an understanding of other aspects of the world. For example, geography is a really good subject to do alongside photography as you need an understanding of what's going on around the world. It's also nice to do subjects like sociology because understanding how people work is really interesting when we do street photography or portrait photography. So it's a really nice opportunity to gain an understanding of other subjects too. As a photography student, on the A-level course, there is a time where you'll be given a set brief to complete independently in a set amount of time. This is a really good practice for you to get used to working in the photographic industry as it teaches you to work under tight deadlines for clients. Don't worry if you don't have your own equipment as a photography student because here at Clarendon we have an equipment store where you can book out equipment to take home such as digital cameras, analog cameras, tripods, flashes, you name it, everything you need to be a photography student we have here. We also have our own dark room here at Clarendon, so you will learn how to develop black and white photographic prints. You'll also have the opportunity to develop your own film, which is really exciting way of seeing where photography came from. As you can see, I am studying our photographic studio, which has both high key lighting and low key lighting. So you will gain a really good understanding on how to use a professional studio so that after college, if you decided to be a photographer's assistant or you wanted to set up your own studio, you'd know how to work it properly. As a photography A-level student, once you've completed the course, there is the opportunity to go on to university. We will support you throughout your UCAS applications and guide you in the right directions for that, especially creating a really good personal statement. So photography fits in really nicely with English, media, graphic design, geography, sociology, all these subjects you could go on to do at university. If you don't fancy progressing on to university, then there's a vast amount of opportunities as a photography student. You can go on to working in the industry as we have industry professionals working with us here at Clarendon who can guide you in the right direction. Obviously being near Manchester you've got places like Boohoo and ASOS offices that you could go and work for as well. So there's a lot of different opportunities you can do as a photography student. If that sounds good to you and you have a passion for photography and you want to study A-level photography here at Clarendon, then please visit our college website. We look forward to hearing from you.